Woodball is a healthy and leisure sport, which appeals to a wider range of players from young to elderly. It only needs a park or a corner of a playground and also a set of Woodball equipment. People can then enjoy the fun of Woodball. Woodball is not only a competitive sport, but also an excellent social activity. Besides offering a fine opportunity of making friends and learning skills from Woodball aficionados, it is the best activity among friends. Understanding the rules of Woodball and having an appropriate attitude and etiquette assist you with enjoying the amusement of swinging the mallet and harmony of competition. Please dress casual or sportswear for playing wood ball. High heels are not allowed as they may damage the grass. Respect participants and avoid disturbing players and injuring. Never walk across fairways unless you are playing on it. Do not forget to warm up before starting to play, which also keeps away sports injuries. After warming up, pick up the equipment and let's enjoy the wood ball world. Introduction of Equipment Wood ball equipment includes a ball, a mallet, and a gate. The gate is formed with two bottles as its stumps, which are fixed on the ground. The ball is 9.5 centimeters in diameter, made of natural wood, and which is hit by the mallet. The mallet is T-shaped with a beer bottle shaped mallet head. A wooden cup is hung upside down in the middle of the gate. When the ball passes through the gate, the wooden cup will overturn, which indicates gating successfully. Rules of Wood Ball Players must follow the rules of wood ball. During the competition, if the ball in play was hit through the metal rod of the gate and behind the cup, but away from each other, it is taken as completion of one fairway competition. Players must not touch the balls in play during the competition. When the ball is out of bounds and prior to the player's next turn to strike, the ball shall be placed outside the boundary line, at least a wood ball length. Upon the player's turn, place the ball at the position where the exit point ball rolled out of the boundary is taken as the center, with a radius of two mallet heads, but one penalty stroke is applied. Instruction of Swing Before swinging, position your feet apart and parallel to each foot. The length should be the same with your shoulders and then stay firmly balanced. Simply flex your knees a little so your legs are slightly bent. This will automatically make your weight down to the feet. Pick one site to place the ball. Holding the mallet at the top of the handle, Put your left hand on the top and right hand on the bottom, easing your shoulders and arms. Place the mallet head behind the ball. The mallet becomes an oblique angle towards your body. Make an isosceles triangle with both of your toes and the ball or put the ball close to your left foot to hit the ball effectively. Practice before hitting is needed for beginners. Position your back slightly bended and hold the mallet in front of your legs. Swing the mallet like a pendulum. Your weight moves onto your toes and you will now feel your body relax. Your eyes are directly over the ball when you are ready to swing.
While upswing, keep your eyes on the ball and shift your body weight to the right foot. Your points of hands and shoulders should look like an upside down triangle. Keep both of your arms the same length. While downswing, your weight moves to the left foot. Keep your left shoulder to the mallet at the same length when swinging for hitting the ball accurately. The mallet should follow through the ball after the swing. Your eyes try to follow the movement of the ball after you complete the swing. Make sure your swing is relaxed and hit the ball to your expected location so you are able to complete the swing. Measuring your target and adjusting your strength to swing, all successful swings depend on your experience. Therefore, the only way to succeed is to practice and practice. After aiming the anticipated route of the wood ball properly, you put the mallet head behind the ball. The mallet, ball, and gate should be in a straight line now. Gating. While gating, keep your feet apart a little. Stay balanced and firm on the ground. Place your hands on the middle up of the mallet. You must not oscillate your mallet now. Confidence, concentration, and calmness are needed for hitting. You also need your solid and accurate hitting strength for gating. After practicing, you will grip the tips and gating successfully. The System of Competition Woodball competition includes men's and women's singles, men's and women's doubles, and team competition with four to six players. Methods of competition include stroke competition and fairway competition. The player who completes required fairways with the lowest strokes shall be the winner of the stroke competition. The player who had won a greater number of fairways with the lowest strokes shall be the winner of the fairway competition. Players draw lots to decide who should begin. Place the ball within the starting area and face the gate, ready to swing. After completing fairways, each player shall have his or her records of stroke count on each fairway and the total stroke count on all the fairways. Woodball Course Design Woodball can be played in a variety of fields, for example, lawns or beaches. The course is able to apply natural objects as obstacles or boundary lines. The surface of fairways should be even and smooth. Straight or curvy fairway designs are allowed. Every woodball course is designed of 12 fairways or its multiple numbers. Different fairway distances are designed varying from 30 to 130 meters. The total length of a 12 fairway woodball course should be more than 700 meters. Regarding the beach woodball course, it is designed of 6 fairways or its multiple numbers. Different fairway distances are designed varying from 20 to 80 meters. The total length of a six fairway beach woodball course should be more than 300 meters. The hand signs of the referee. Start to play. Extend the arm forward and incline downward about 45 degrees. The palm open and the fingers drawn close to each other pointing to the starting line and at the same time, call aloud, start play. Hand sign of hitting. Extend the arm upward to the shoulder's height, palm facing down and the index finger pointing to the direction of the hitter to the gate and moves horizontally several times. Out of bounds. First with the thumb upward, 
bend the arm slightly and swing backward from the front over the shoulder to a stop behind the head. Swing several times to show the ball being outside the boundary. Infractions. Raise the arm upward and straight closely to the ear and face to the hitter. Time out. Make a T-shape with both palms in front of the breast to show time out. Through the gate, extend the arm straight with the thumb upward and point to the hitter to show the ball he or she hit passing through the gate successfully and to express congratulation and admiration to the hitter.